Previously on Legacy Ladder. Although this second has been very long. I've got that virus. I'm stuck in time. No, it isn't my connection. I just checked. Mephis! Okay. Wow. Turns out that level four tuna was actually not worthless at all. Uh, cursed bamboo sword. Oh, is he Exodia? Oh, sucks. So I think the turkey summon is correct. Hello. Hello. And... I didn't realize Jamarilla's effect worked on other declarations. That's so funny. <laughs> and then he's going to swing in and we can prideful roar it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What's our wing con? Our wing con is keeping this alive but killing everything else. Or him disconnecting. The zombie has grabbed him in real life. Come on. Come on, zombie. You can win the fight. Yes, zombie! Yes! Master Duel, the official Yu-Gi-Oh! simulator. A game which contains a ranking system that goes all the way from rookie to master. And I'm here to find out if it's possible to get to master using only legacy packs. In this series, I'll be following a few rules on the road to master to see how far we can get. The rules are as follows. No crafting cards, no buying packs, only opening legacy packs, and only using the cards I opened in legacy packs. There is one exception, being cards that drop from the end of matches, but they are not very impactful and are on the same level as legacy packs. Let's see how far we can make it up the ladder and dive into the challenge as we take on the legacy ladder. Hello everyone and I hope you're doing well. We're back again with another episode of Legacy Ladder, the series where we try and escape the dullness of life by looking at some of the dullest cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now with that being said, I will say we are still in gold, so there is a chance we hit platinum this episode. I'm only going to be filming for about an hour and a half, but it's unlikely. Now we'll say a commenter by the name of Wazithpo, what was it? Her poll? I, I don't know how to say the name. Uh, mentioned he doesn't want to see me milking this series, and uh, I'll be honest, I do agree with him. The past couple of months of resets, we've gone down to silver, and I filmed all the way back up to gold. Whilst it is still a struggle, maybe it's time for us to sc start skipping past that. Um, I'll still show the games. I'll literally just say win loss, win loss, win loss, win loss. Uh, so that that's what's going to happen after the next season reset. That's if we don't hit plat though. So <laughs> there's every chance we hit plat. Now I did do some off-screen grinding as well. We've got 30 legacy packs to get through, so I look forward to cracking these open. Let's start with it. Let me just do 10 at a time. I think that's a bit more manageable. Uh, we'll do the skip like usual. Let's see what we've got. Flute for summon Karibo, special summon a Karibo. Uh, I don't think we have any Karibos, and I don't think that'd be very useful. Digital Bug Corbage, Cor Uh If it wasn't light insect monsters, that actually might be usable. Digital Bugs are a very good archetype in Legacy Ladder, or in the Legacy Pack format. If it's destroyed by battle, so it's graveyard and insect monster, no. Psychic Blade, wait, shit, this is actually a good card. Pay life point to monsters of 100 up to 2,000. Equip that to a monster that gains that much attack and defense. 2,000 attack and defense, pretty much. That's actually really good. That's going in our deck 100%. Dark Scorpion Burglars. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, your opponent sends one spell card from the deck to the graveyard. That's just a good effect for them. If this destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflict 400 damage. No. A powerful monster whose two heads attack as one. Jar. Jar located. Overflows from a jar. It's a jar. Petite Moth, not a jar, not a jar, not interested, not a jar, still not a jar. Stim Pack, another copy of Stim Pack. Okay, we're getting some really good equips now. Maybe we start to consider Gear Freed again. Maybe if our new deck doesn't work out as much. Another equip. Oh, equip only to Chusuke, the Mouse Fighter, Monk Fighter, or Master Monk. Yep, we're not doing any of those. When a trap card that inflicts damage is activated, make that effect damage zero. Target two monsters with the same type and attribute. Just swap the levels. Fucking awesome. Brilliant. Select two spell trap zones on the... F Ooh. It's, I thought this just locked two zones, but no. To set Target two sets and they can't be activated. That's quite fun. Full salvo. Send your entire hand to the graveyard and inflict 200 damage. Nope. Synchro barrier. Tribute a synchro monster. You do not take any damage. Not really. Orchestration release. Tribute to receive monsters. Okay, so Psychic Blade is definitely going in. And Stimpak is noteworthy. The Dark Scorpion Burglars, 
I thought that would actually be quite good for our warrior pile, but sending a spell card from Dex to the Graveyard is genuinely a good thing these days. That is not a punishment. Even in Goat. Oh, no, I actually did that. Okay. Oh, ultimate rare. Ultimate rare, ultra rare. If you control this normal summon set card, quick effect, you can target up to three level four lower insects in your grave. Change the attacks to zero and special summon them. Great, that's pretty much unusable. <laughs> Cannot be normal summon set, but you special summon by tripping two level six or higher spell cards. Jesus Christ, man. Photon Severus. During the time this card was. Oh, the turn this card was normal summon, neither player can activate traps. Matt. It's Matthew. Hello, Matthew. Cannot be normal summon set. Must be special summoned by sending a light dragon and a light fairy. Matthew, you're not going in our deck. We've got one of those. Leotor, if it battles are not normal. I think we pulled that as well. Return. When your opponent adds a card from the graveyard to the hand, they must shuffle one of those cards into the deck. Quite funny. Final get. If a monster with an original level 7 or higher is sent from each player's field to the graveyard this turn, banish as many monsters from the graveyard as possible. I mean, let's be real, that conditioning is, isn't happening. The soul gate. If a monster tribute summoned, gain 2,000. Fucking awesome. I love old cards, man. They're so terrible. When the face of monster you control is selected as an attack target, you can change the targets of this card. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, target one face up monster your opponent controls, loses 1,000 attack. Oh dear, guys. <laughs> I want to see like more than one usable card every 10 packs. If you take damage, you can special summon this card from your hand, also you can also special summon your monsters for the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except Raid Raptor monsters. I mean, that's not terrible. If it was a tuna, we'd run it. Oh my god, it's the melting red shadow! This monster melts away to materialize under its enemies, taking them by surprise. Confuses enemy monsters with a noise that is harsh to the ears. Not one of those. Stop defense. Yeah, no. Not using that. Banish the psychic type. Nope. Target a ritual monster. Nope. <laughs> activate only when your opponent activates a continuous spell. Nah, too specific. Tribute a black wing. Target synchro monster control. It gives attack equal to the tributed monster. Not. I mean, I was about to say not bad, but it actually is. Once per turn, you can tribute a face-up earth monster, target up to two cards in your opponent's graveyard, banish those targets. Not actually bad, because a lot of our performer pals are earths, but it's not impactful enough. If exactly one monster you control and no other cards are destroyed by a card effect, target that monster, special summon that target. It's not terrible. It, it's not called by the grave, but it's close. It doesn't go in our deck, though. That's all I know. It just it does not make it in. Let's go. Oh, Manticore of Darkness. During the end phase, if the card is in your graveyard because it's sent there this turn, you can send one beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monster from your hand. Or face up on the field to the graveyard. Let's just summon it. Mm, it doesn't really have an effect on the summon. It's not very useful. Special summon one, one world legacy monster from your hand or deck, but destroying it during the end phase of the next turn. Damn, those are, those are our shiny cards. Okay. Oh, when this card is normal summon, you can target one set card. You're going to spend a trap zone, reveal the target, destroy it. If it's a trap, otherwise return it. Right. Weather report! <laughs> I think in one episode I genuinely said I will run this just because we kept running into Swords of Revealing Light. I don't think we need to do it anymore, but we could. I love that we have that option now. And it gives you one of the rarest prompts in Master Duel. Would you like to enter the battle phase again or something? Would you like to enter your second battle phase? I think that's the one. Roulette Barrel. He looks cool. Once per turn, you can roll a six-sided die twice. Choose one result and destroy one monster on the field whose level is equal to that result. It's removal, right? It's removal. How much cope does a man have to be on to look at Roulette Barrel of all cards and go... Yeah, you know what? That, that's that's removal. Guys, do I actually run this? I think I actually do run this. It's got 2,000 defense as well. We can just pendulum summon it in defense, keep rolling dice, and then eventually pop. Oh. That's funny. Choose one result and destroy one monster on the field. Yeah, so it can only destroy up to level 6, but it's still good. Magical plant Mandragola. God, that is terrifying. Flip, place a spell counter on each card on the field that you can. Disc fight. If this card attacks a defense position monster with 2,000 or more, destroy the monster with this card's effect without applying damage calculation. Okay, we're getting removal now. 
It's a shame it has to be a defense position monster. I wish it was just any monster with a uh, defense of 2,000 or more. Millennium Scorpion. Ugh. Each time this card destroys one monster, your opponent's side of the field by battle sends the graveyard against 500 attack. Eh, not great, not terrible. When this card, when control of this card changes, its new controller discards one card. That sounds like it could be used in some really funny combos. Desert Protector. This card gains 300 defense to respawn a trap of the field. No. Misjudge! Okay, misjudge. We're running misjudge. 1800. If an opponent card effect activates, before resolving that effect, toss a coin twice, and if the result is two heads, negate that effect. You can only use it once per turn, but the chance of us getting a negate out of just an 1800 beta, that is undeniable. We're turning into a full gamble deck now with these packs. Ooh, bum dweller. He's dwelling in your bum. Air eater. He's dwelling in your air. Sparks. Ow. <laughs> Once per turn during your standby phase is so you can pay 100 life to look at one card on the top of your opponent's deck and return it to the original position. Your opponent cannot look at this card. Okay. Target warrior spellcaster on the field. Change the target to face 100% position. No. Straight flush. We've had that. That is good to know that we have multiple copies though. Activate during the end phase. You can return three monsters that were destroyed this turn. Mm, not great. It's like one monster you control. Destroy it. Gain life, but it's cool. I think that was used in like a janky FTK. Uh, Arrow Mage. Uh, Amor Phage. Oh, we got no more packs. Okay. That was probably the longest pack opening we've done in a while, but it still doesn't compare to our 47 packs that we did one at a time. I'm so glad that we don't do that anymore. Right. So there were a few changes I wanted to make uh, from the last episode. Yomi Ship, get out of here. Why did I put you in? We have Misjudge. I've just realized the pun, bro misjudge like misjudge you get it i get it uh where's the other gambly boy oh and psychic blade that card was insane there he is i couldn't fucking find him i had to search for him okay so we're going full gamba now I'm tempted to put the dice jar back in but i won't i know it's bad don't worry who will be taking out why is this guy still here i took him out there he goes. Get gone again. Uh, I put Zero Gravity in. Uh, Grey Gray Fox, Grey Wolf mentioned it for Tempire. It's probably not a bad pick, but my concern is we still lose. We get a turn off them, but we can't OTK pretty much unless we draw a cracked hand. So we've made a couple of adjustments. Apparently that's our second disc fighter, by the way. That's so funny. At some point, we can definitely go back to the warrior build. Or, hold on, the fucking melting red shadow build. Let's go. Just equip him with a bunch of stim packs. He's going to be the buffest shadow you've ever seen. Right, let's go into ladder. Let's stop wasting time looking at these silly cards. Okay, we're starting off by going second. Not the best thing in the world, but it could be worse. Looks like it's you, Bell. It's not you, Bell. It's just a GX enjoyer. Unfortunately, we don't have a Nibiru, which is the typical hero end board. But we'll see what happens when it passes back to us. I mean, we have a two and a two. We could pendulum summon nothing. So we're in for a good time. Here we go. Oh, God, he's got TP. <laughs> yeah, no. Um... Not much I can do here, really. I, I can go for Rageki Break. But then he just brings back DPE. I can go for my Scales, but then they don't do anything. Unfortunately, that was a very easy concede. Yeah, unfortunately, I think we do need to go first. I think we finally come to the conclusion. I know I said this like 10 episodes ago. I was like, yes, we go first. But I've reevaluated and come to the same conclusion that if we go second basically no way for us to break through any boards that are on like any competent deck and we've gone second again so let's see if we can do exactly what i just said we couldn't do unless we draw lightning vortex Ooh, we got the psychic blade we could just summon a, a 3900 attack guy that's more like it oh this is going to be a long combo. See? If we got this guy out turn one, whole deck's dead. 
See you at the end of the combo. Okay, well, he's passed back to us, but unfortunately, he does have a Judgment Dragon. But we will try our very best to get through the Judgment Dragon specifically, because it will wipe everything out. I don't know. I've never seen this guy in my life. Damn, he's big. Okay, well, we're going to normal summon this. Go for the Psychic Blade. And just try and force the JD, I guess. Okay, Psychic Blade. I mean, we're always doing this. 2,000 life points. And just like that, we have the biggest monster we've ever achieved on this series. Uh, negate their effects at the end of this turn. Oh, That's not good. But... We do still have Ring of Destruction and Ragyeki Break, so we might as well try it. Yeah, there's nothing I can kill. And I get my attack back, right? Yeah! I'd like to see you stand up to this! No! <laughs> you gotta have some fun while you're losing, otherwise... What am I doing most of the time I'm playing you going? <laughs> oh man. Oh! Twins! I'm now a mate. I am now going to be on the opponent's side of the board. I guarantee that this guy isn't playing Empire. There's, there's no way. I genuinely don't think there's any way that anyone that loves a deck that much just names themselves. Wait, there's literally a guy called Farfa. I suppose it'd make more sense if he was called, like, Fadra or something. Uh, two and a seven. We could pendulum summon this guy. Or we could just normal summon the Drumarilla. I think Drumarilla is better. It turns off our pendulums for now, but we'll probably just draw another one, right? And then Roulette Barrel will be our secret weapon. I really like the design on him. I don't understand how he works, but I'm glad he exists. This doesn't look like Tempo. Hmm. Hmm. Uh oh. It's probably Burn. Oh, oh, it's Stunma. What's Stunma? I don't know. I, I've been solemn judgmented on my response. Damn it, that fucks my pendulums. Holy shit. Uh, I guess we'll normal summon. Okay. Big news. We could go into... Oh, is that guy a five? The greedy... Yeah, it's a five, damn. Uh, we'll just go battle and hope there's no Mirror Force. No Mirror Force. Don't know what the fuck those other cards could be. It must be a Solemn Judgment or something. We can't activate any spells or traps unless he starts using those set ones. There's a chance. This has got to be Stun that hasn't seen a monster, right? That, that's, he's going to summon like Fossil Diner or something or set it. Jalkin is banned now, by the way, which is something I noticed when I looked at my wish lists of cards I wanted from the Legacy Pack, and now Jalkin's banned. So that's fantastic for the state of the game, but not for my Legacy Ladder deck, because I want to get him. Uh, we can't get lethal, sadly. I'm going to be really safe. If there's a Torrential Tribute, I don't want to run into it. Um, so let's just set this and a Prideful Roar. And fuck it, we'll set the rest of them as well. Just in case we need them. Because anti-spell is the thing. Is it limit one here? No, it's limit two. Okay, interesting. Anti-spell is so disgusting. It's fucking Dynamorphia, huh? Are you going into this? No, no, no. That's my fucking... Oh, wait. Oh, okay, that doesn't do anything. That is my roulette barrel you've just attacked, and for that you will pay. What has he done? Like, how has he drawn five sets and none of them fusion summon for him? 
Wait, can't we just win through um, Mephist? I think we just go for Mephist. Okay, we will not be going for Mephist. That thought did occur to me as soon as I summoned. I was like, oh my god, what if there's a Torrential? Uh, we could try and snipe one, but it seems a bit fruitless. Let's roll a dice! Aha! I rolled my dice. He's like, no, I don't want to fucking see the result. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's try and work out what his background Oh, what is this? The Wicked Worm Beast. Oh, yeah, we've had him before. I didn't even get to roll the dice. Let's see. I mean, it's Dynamorphia with more stun than I'd like. But you know what? I'm happy about it. We won. We won a game. Surely. This match is going to go well. Nope. Don't choose first. Oh. Oh, you're so mean. 30 packs and three usable cards. Ooh, that is a three and a seven. That means we get out everything. But that is a three and a seven. So that means we can get out everything but the Cobra. Prob it's either D-Link or yeah, Blue Eyes. Probably Blue Eyes. Oh, that's scary. Hello? <laughs> Didn't expect... Oh, oh, he's got the fucking plays. I see you. Fusion armament. Okay, okay. Magia, magia. Oh, fuck. Okay. He's cooking. And here comes the blue eyes. Uh, so there's multiple things we can do to break this board, thankfully. So, that's not who I expected to see. It's probably going to be Polly. No, it's Chaos Form. There's a chance he does have... Ah, right, okay, you get to, you get to search. You get to search one of them. Oh, it's Jetman. Jetman. Mm, how do we beat Jetman? We steal Jetman. Kind of wanted to steal the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Holy shit, this hand is actually cracked. Um, we scale Greed. Gre greed is not going to be as useful as the cavalry here. So we do this. Go like this. Oh, do we not get to summon Segmental? No. He's a seven. Oh, I want to summon the Cobra, but this is... Equally as good. Because I can banish one. And technically, if I banish one, then it doesn't activate Jet. Let me read Jet again. Doesn't he get to bounce a monster on Declaration? At the start of the damage step, if this card battles, you can target one card your opponent controls return to hand. Okay, it's if that battles. So we could return it next turn. That's fine. That is fine. We'll go battle now. So we want to banish this. So we banish this first. Yeah, it doesn't matter if my attack becomes zero. You're fine. So here. Banish him. Do we destroy it? Because then Jet comes out. Let's think this through. So if Jet comes out this turn, next turn... He swings, gets a bounce, probably bounces the Heavy Knight. I want to steal it with Cobra. And when this dies, we can keep special summoning it. So at least we have that. But we want to protect the Heavy Knight of the Flame at all costs, because... I mean, he could just swing over it, but... At least we can force him to do that. Hello, you again. God, that card is so busted. <laughs> Link Rebo is insane. I don't know how this wasn't banned sooner in the TCG. I think we have a solid chance. Unless he uses the Chaos Form. That's probably the Chaos Form. Or that one. It could be either. Surely not. Into the Heavy Knight. Yeah. Didn't. Oh yeah. Especially some of the normal ones. So. Shit, the jet comes out anyway. I forgot, man. Okay, well, we have a plan at least. Not dead. 
Why return that one? Very interesting decision. I can just scale it again. And does he have a anti-spell fragrance as well? Is he going to give me some anti-smell fragrance? Because I'm stinky. I got the stinky plays. No, 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 no. That's not part of my plan. I'm going to steal your jet dragon. Uh, I guess that'll do. Oh, and he sends his jet. I see. Fuck, that's good. This guy knows what he's doing. Blue Eyes players aren't supposed to know what they're doing. What did we send? Oh, they were good cards. Most of them, anyway. What the fuck is this? How did he just summon that? Am I... Um, I am stupid. I'm very much stupid. Where are you coming from? Oh, okay, the Whitestone. No. My boy. My greed. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. We have to steal something. Now. Can't target him, so I can't steal him. So in that case... Oh. Immediately realised I said I can't target him. Oh, with the effect of special summon monsters. Also, oh, either of them would have been fine. We still get rid of it. I wish we could destroy something to force out Jet. What a weird card, Blue Eyes Solid Dragon. Never seen it in my life. We can steal the regular Blue Eyes now, at least. I think we can bait something here. If we swing the Cobra into the Linker Rebo, do you reckon he's going to use the effect to turn it to zero? <laughs> yes, please. Because that means we didn't destroy anything on his field. Doesn't matter. But we got rid of the Lingaribo, I guess. Aye. <laughs> if I declare it to him, he just bounces it again, man. I'll go on and we'll try it. I just... <laughs> yeah. There's something about Jet. Jet is so broken. Like, if you posted this card to custom Yu-Gi-Oh, like r slash custom Yu-Gi-Oh, they'd flame you. They'd say this card is too broken. And also the card text, by the way. Let me just read this section. If a card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from the graveyard, if it was there when the card was destroyed, or the hand, even if not. What? Yeah, return me. Oh, I, he made the mistake of sending my Cobra again. Everyone loves to make that mistake. I was wondering if maybe I could set the Cobra. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we steal him? I don't think we can, can we? Can't target it, yeah? Cannot target it, yeah. I mean, we might be able to steal the jet. Unfortunately, his bounce targets, so he protects against himself. Which sucks. Well, we could swing into the Chaos Manx and steal the jet. Hmm. Interesting card to pick up there. Like, I steal Jet and then what, right? We'll just fucking try it. Let's see what happens. Ow. Come on, Cobra. You've stolen a tank. You can now steal a Jet. What a legend, honestly. Watch this. I know I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, there's no way out of that. The Ring of Destruction was not doing anything. I think if he didn't see Jet, we genuinely won that. Like, 100% of the time, I'm saying. But he saw Jet. He saw the custom card. First, please give me some barrier statues. That'd be very nice. Um, wow, that's a hand. We could protect our Heavy Knight of the Flame with the Pride for all. Uh, no. 
I kind of want more of that angel trumpeter guy. Girl. Protector of the fairies. Oh god, it's Pendulum. Oh, it's Cutie again, it's this deck. Ah. Uh, look. If he ends his turn with more than three cards in his extra deck, like Pendulums, I'm conceding. Because I don't, I just don't think there's any way we beat pendulums either. Not without a barrier statue. Will we ever make it to platinum? Probably not. But hopefully. Guys, we're at two. We're at two in the extra deck. So I technically don't need to concede yet. We're prideful roar on this. We need to keep this guy alive at all costs. It's damage count. Surely you don't have anything. Negate the activation. Fuck. Ah. It's Coolia. Are we dead? Three. Three. What did I say? There's three of them. Okay, now we'll... We, we, <laughs> maybe we draw a lightning vortex and then nothing happens because he negates it. Like, you guys see why I can see this, right? <laughs> Even if we do clear his entire field, still got those guys in the extra deck. Woohoo! Don't worry, I'm not salty. I'm having fun. It's just, uh... I prefer having fun when I'm winning. Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! We got every fucking low scale in the world. But at least we got the Psychic Blade. Oh, it's a long combo deck. And if this combo goes uninterrupted, uh, even my main deck can be genuinely fucked. So I'm a little bit scared. But for you guys, I will wait just in case, just in case. But that that is the big, big question for this episode. Are you okay with me just hitting concede on these matches? Because I know with a hand like this, it's going to be very unlikely that we beat through an entire Red Dragon Archfiend board. And uh, I would just concede here if I was playing alone. So let me know. Please love you. Okay, well this isn't as good as the end board could have gotten. But it's still good against us. So this can't be destroyed. When a monster effect is activated, you can banish that. This and banish all cards I control. Plus he's got a red zone somewhere back there, which is a very scary card. So I think all we can really do... I just realised Segmental plus uh, Psychic Blade is very funny, but it doesn't really do anything here. Just normal summon this guy. Um, Psychic Blade up for 2000. Brr. Don't know how we're going to deal with this guy though. Let's just go battle then. Oh, all when it declares an attack. I mean, we're not winning. He has the whole other turn. Uh, so I have one Sakuretsu. Ooh, that's nice. Three and a nine and a Barry statue. Plus Dramarilla. That's a good hand. We could do three and a... Yeah, yeah, three, nine. You better max see me? Good. Didn't want to do it now? No. I'm surprised it lets me do all three. Okay. Uh, this in attack because we can get the drum riddler boost. Uh, drum riddler in attack because it can get the drum riddler boost. And segmental and attack because it has more attack. You want to max seed now? I think it'd be a really good move. Uh, no, that's it. Okay, okay. We can win. Oh, you're going to try to beat over the barrier statue, are you? Yeah, good luck with that. Um, next month we'll skip over silver so i'll do silver one day and then do the gold grind on the other we'll start recording the gold grind so we should 
have a lot better chance of getting into platinum when the first two episodes aren't getting into gold, so. Oh, birth. Please don't have Fenrir in hand, I beg. Or, or you could just special summon Fenrir, actually. I see. I see what you've done now. I see what you've done to me. Unfortunately, we're just fucked. Alright, I'll let him combo off for a bit. I imagine he's going to banish some of my stuff. Jesus Christ. Guys, I don't think we're beating this. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> oh, no. I love Kashira, man, but we can't beat it. Is Rebellion in our deck? I think it is. It isn't. I swear we put it in. I think that's better than Clashing Souls. Alright, let's go again. Let's see if we can get more than one win this episode. I really want to. Aww. Tenpai isn't working anymore. Everyone's caught on. Oh, it's Junkmen. I swear to God, if he goes into Junk Speeder right now... I think there might be a Junk Speeder coming. Oh no. Don't do it. Please don't do it. I'm begging you. I'm on my hands and knees. Well. Wait. I've just realized on my hands and knees I'll be like all fours. I'm begging you. Police. Stardust Synchron. Okay. It could just be the structure deck. It could just be the structure deck. Although I don't think it gives you 15 cards. Add Starlight Road. Oh. Okay, we'll let him combo off. If we see Junk Speeder, though, maybe not. That may not be him. It's him! It's Stardusy! We can kill that, actually, with Prideful Raw. That's, like, really easy. He's got all the alt arts. He must love this nostalgic deck of his. Ah! <laughs> it's blue eyes now. You know what? Fair enough. It's a tuna. Okay. Mm. That's a card. We won't be using it though. So let's let's go for the Wang. Wang control. Wang control. Wang control. Wang control. And just like that, the game has changed. Let's scale you just in case Wangu somehow gets destroyed. He shouldn't be, but. But yeah, in my Edison list, I've got um, three Wangu, like a couple of the other floodgate guys. Um, it's basically stun. I never wanted it to come to this, but I've got to play something other than Gemini's, and I wanted to play Wangu. It seems so funny. A card I'll put on the screen, if I remember, is um, Burden of the Mighty. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, almost caught me. Not looking at the field there. Uh, but basically, Burden of the Mighty is a continuous spell. Each face-up monster your, your opponent controls is 100 attack times its own level. So, for example, this... It's currently 18, it goes down to 14. And that is now, it works with Wangu. I checked the ruling. <laughs> so, Wangu would kill this. I think the only thing it loses to is like heroes or going second. But if it goes well, you'll see a deck list very soon of uh, Wang Control Edison. Satellite Warrior, who are you? Just got to synchro something. You target cards up to your opponent. Your opponent controls up to the number of synchro monsters in your graveyard. Destroy them. And if you do, it gains a thousand attack for each card destroyed. Oh, no. Well, that isn't in Edison. So I don't need to worry about that for Wang control. But for right now, our oof ooey, my cards. Surprising. I guess it's not surprising that he went for Wangu. I thought he would have gone for the pendulum scale. Because he can just beat over the Wangu. Okay. We're not dead. We're close, but we're not. And here comes the blue eyes. Okay, so we need a Cobra then. ASAP. 
Oh, okay, there he goes. There goes my pendulum. Okay. Draw, Cobra. Okay. Should have kept your Stardust Dragon, my guy. Unless that's Starlight Road, in which case... I'll chuck my whole counter monster if that's Starlight Road. I'll do it. I remembered. Discard the Rainbow Dragon. Was not... Was not the uh, was not the Starlight Road. I don't need to chuck my monster energy now. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Here they come. The consequences of my actions. Here he is. One more. No more. Bop, bop. Trumpet. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> He didn't even die! He's stuck in pain forever. He's in purgatory now. Sorry, Trumpeter. How many wins have we got? One? How many hours has it been? Also one? Oh. Guys, this is gonna, this is gonna be so much harder than I thought. <laughs> Every time I'm like, yeah, we got this. We've got this. It's gonna be so easy. Mm. I mean, if we were going first, pretty decent. Two and a seven, special summon both these out. Jobs are good. But unfortunately, we are going second. Who are you? Oh, it's Ritual Beasts again. Everyone seems to love the Ritual Beasts. Especially at gold rank. I don't think I've ever seen them when I'm playing in, like, Diamond. D-Shifter. Okay, well, let me go through his combo and see if we lose on the spot. Hey, maybe we'll win by time limit like we did last time. That's our hope, actually. Okay. He's ended on... Oh, I pulled this guy in Royal as well. Bagu. Uh, negate activation. Uh, negate act activation negation. Omni negate. And... Uh, I can't target ritual beasts. And he can special summon a dude. So what's the best we can do? Are we dead? Yeah, keep thinking, keep thinking. No, 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 no. Let me check my graveyard real quick. Hold on, hold on. Let me check my graveyard. No, stop. Let me check your graveyard. Ah, time's called of the round. I would have lost in time anyway. Okay, I want one more win. I'm not leaving this episode until we get one more win. I don't know what it is. Some days you just get no wins, like today, I like got one. And other days you just win streak all the way back up to gold. Ooh! What nasty little hand this is! Discard the Rainbow Magician. Use these two. Usually I like it when an opponent does that, but when it's got Eldritch sleeves on, I'm a bit scared. We have beaten Eldritch before, though. Are we dead dead? Yeah, if we... if Whoa, well, he has that bonus effect as well, I forgot. Ay, 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 ay. Misjudge seems pretty good, though. Like... Okay... Ah. Sorry, it inflicted EP on me. Wow, I unlocked the um, level 50 light sword icon. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, you know you Reset. I've been reset. Okay, this isn't a bad hand. We've got a lot of pendulums. Probably scale the greed and... Hmm. Maybe the greed is good. Greed is good. Um. We'll see what he's playing. I have a feeling it might be a bot. What is this? Oh, it's Ice Barrier? Hmm. Interesting. Seems like a pretty good card. Not very good when it's paired with that. Ooh, Cobra. Okay, so I think we do go and summon Greed then. We're going to be really greedy and go for Greed. So, Gongato. 
karate spirit. I kind of want to summon the spirit. Or do I want to summon this guy? No, not really. Yeah, I don't really want to summon him. Because I have to flip him face down immediately. See, so this guy's in attack. Greed goes in defense. And here comes the spirit. Bam. I think we might win this. If he does the same thing next turn. He can't special from the extra now. So, everything should be fine. It, it doesn't look like he was going to summon from the extra, but just in case. All we need is a wang. We need a wang on this board. Battle? Has he got evenly? Or is he doing the bot thing where he just goes to battle for no reason? He's doing the bot thing. Okay, this is very likely a bot. But we'll take it. We will take it, honestly. Still can't kill. <laughs> Still can't kill him, though. Oh, man. <laughs> we did it. We won. That was a hard-fought battle. We won again. Oh, my God. How long has it been? Huh? <laughs> I looked at the timer. I shouldn't have. Look at it. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun tonight. Okay, we got to keep the win streak going. This is it. This is the run. It's queuing us into bots now because it thinks we're a bot because we keep losing. Yes, this is it. This is the run. All the way to platinum, baby. Let's go. Let's do this. Come on. Best hand we've ever seen. We can do it. Blue matching fields. It's going to be a good fight. That's actually not a terrible hand. I was expecting something absolutely god awful after how much I hyped that up. But actually, it's half decent. Uh, unfortunately, I can't special summon the greed. But we can go for this. And a misjudge. So, if he tries to activate something to kill the Rainbow Magician, we have a chance to fix that. We will set this to make sure we can actually activate the misjudge. Oh, sorry, I got so excited, I just got hiccups. Oh, it's ninjas. I wonder if he just crash or attempts to crash. I know ninjas play a lot of sets, though, so we might be... The Rainbow Magician might be a bit useless. No, 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 no. Again, again. What, misjudge? Do you hate me? Is it because I tried to understand your name earlier and said it like 10 times? Are you like Bloody Mary? Pendulums. I don't know ninjas have pendulums. Damn. Look at them thighs. He's got the platinum dumpy. Okay, that, that guy does not have platinum. Or we might not be able to tell. Maybe he's hiding a whole fucking... Ooh. The Sky Ninja, yes. I mean, he's going into battle. He doesn't have any set cards, though. You're a silly goose. Yeah, he still can't activate any effects or anything. So we might get... We may get... Another attempt at hitting a misjudge. What are we going for here? Into Grandmaster Saizo. He can't use his effect, though. He's 2,000 attack, so he does win. I need a Psychic Blade. Oh, there she goes. I think he's just very confused. Prideful Roar. That would be good if he was able to attack. He is not, though. Uh, let's just flip over the misjudge, set this, and pass. Maybe our goal is to set four now. Uh, to be able to beat over whatever he summons. It's happened once. It can happen again. Although we do run a lot less spell and traps in this build. He set a card. He set two cards. Maybe we need... Oh, 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 oh. Here it is. This is what we need. Ah, oh, well, it was better than the last attempts, at least. Alright, what's our wing con now? I still think it's setting four. I think that's our out. But I kind of want to keep misjudge with the rightful, prideful roar. 
Maybe. Hmm. I think it puts us in a good position. What did he just set? Should be a face down ninja, special summon a ninja. Oh. Fusion? Contact fuse, right? He has the. I forget what he's called. Hanzo? Mizen. I, I was close. Just like, we'll just name Overwatch characters and one day I'll be right. Damn, he's popping off now. Uh, do, 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 do. Your ninja monsters can attack directly. Okay, well, Prideful Raw is suddenly out of the question. We can no longer do that. Battle. There's a chance he tries to kill Miss Judge. But I doubt it. Yeah. Okay. 35 to the face. Hmm. Barrier statue earth. I don't think that actually does much against ninjas. Oh, maybe it does. It seems they seem to have quite a few different bits and bobs and all bobs. I wonder if I can just remove it with back to square one. Let's do that first, actually. Let's make sure he doesn't have any sneaky effects. Uh, what's less useful? Probably greed. So he can special summon a ninja, but... Miss Judge is going to negate it, so... That's fine. Dragon, dinosaur, or sea serpent? Damn, maybe I should have summoned the guy first. Kind of regret that now. Watch it be Earth, just to spite me. Oh, oh. That would have been so nice. <laughs> Do you think Miss Judge is worth it? I don't know, let me know. I think it's worth. Who's that? Gathonian Emperor Dragon. It's a Gemini? It can attack twice? I need to look up if that card's in Edison. That's funny. It's probably not. Uh, we just scale this. Oh, we do still have the prideful rule. It just means we won't be able to attack if we use it. Yeah, I regret not summoning that first. That was a stupid mistake. Okay, sets one. Hopefully he swings in with this. And we're all good to... Well, we need another set. But if he can't play, we can't play. Especially some of the ninja monster from your deck. So he, they do have earth targets, okay. It helps to know that we would have been screwed even if we did summon the barrier statue. But we have at least one more turn left in us. I'm pretty sure this guy can attack directly. He won't, but... Okay, we're not going to prideful raw that. It's funny that you can prideful raw that. I don't know why you ever would. It's funny that you can. We still have a set. So maybe we could do something. I don't know who it would be that would do something. Mm, no, that doesn't work. That does not work. But we technically still have another turn. We might as well see it through if it's going to be the last game of the, uh, of the episode. Hmm. He's activating a lot of things. And usually that's a bad thing. Here he goes. He's finally going into the battle phase. Are we dead? Does look like it. Unless he somehow messes up or gives me a homie draw. Maybe? If we ask really nicely, slide him a swift fiver, you know, you know. I'll trade you the ear of an elf. To survive! Fine, I'll keep the fucking ear to myself then, Jesus. <laughs> okay. It wasn't a very successful episode, but if we think about it this way, I believe there's four more wins after this rank up. So, we're six wins away. Wait, two, four, four. There's another rank after this. We're 10 wins away from Platinum. We got two in about two hours. 
next season again let me know in the comments also yeah let's get out the deck as well because i would rather talk over that let me know in the comments uh next season when it when we reset do you want me to make a full episode on the silver climb or do you want me to just cut it down so it's just win loss win loss win loss oh we're in gold in about like a few minutes do let me know because i am willing to do that it will take a lot more time for me but if it makes the content more enjoyable for you guys that is what i'm here for i love making content and uh i'm just happy you're sticking here with me but yeah do let me know but that being said if you made it this far in the video please do feel free to hit subscribe new Yu-Gi-Oh videos each week and as always happy dueling <laughs>